All right, this is a short video response, video responses, who's making video responses anymore, um, about uh, changing the batteries on the valve index controller, um, because I'm going to be able to uh, save the original BMS from the original battery and actually put it on the new battery that I purchased, um, because it's not such a big deal to um, actually solder the it's uh, desolder the the BMS from uh, from battery and um, and actually resolder it to a different battery um, so this is the valve controller after uh, the index controller after a lot of work um, and once I had the battery outside I had to take all the uh, um, you know all the um, um, paper wrappings off and eventually I got to the battery and I exposed everything and here I just cut the um, uh, I cut the leads off. Um, there's also a marking on the battery of minus and plus. I just rechecked it, marked it again, and also you can al always see that the uh, as far as I can see that um, the, the black wire is coming from the same side that had the uh, the marking on the battery, and the same thing for the red wire, um, and that's also true for this battery. So the minus is right now on the right side. Now it's on the left side, and and the minus is uh, on the left side. Um, so so yeah, you, sh you should follow that log logic and make sure that you're <laughs> soldering everything to the right side. So what I have here is uh, needle nose pliers held in place with couple uh, plenty of rubber bands on one side so that it wants to close. Um, then I have the battery and one side is actually already uh, desoldered and it was really easy so um, I'm sure I didn't warm up the battery and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold um, the little tab here and I'm making sure that the um, that I'm not shorting the battery okay so I have a welding station set up here on the side and I took a pretty um, massive head um, with some uh, solder on it already um, and it's set up at, at 320 degrees right now because um, if I had um, a battery um, welder, spot welder then um, it would count on uh, the amount of heat being uh, transferred very very quickly so it doesn't have enough uh, time or energy to actually heat up anything else except the, the little tab that has to come off and this is also why I have the needle nose plier here because um, I'm counting on the, um, the heat going into the needle nose plier and not really transferring in the uh, very thin piece of uh, uh, metal that holds the battery together. So this is actually going to go really really quickly. Um, I could actually It may it may be a, a good idea to actually put the soldering iron on an, on an even uh, higher degree But uh, it's just going to go so quickly. Oh, well, actually this one is going even slower than the the older one Then the the other side that I did the other side was just you know half a second Maybe I didn't it's a little difficult with the camera and everything but yeah, I mean, um, this isn't even warm. Um, so obviously I didn't put any strain on the battery. And now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, resolder the battery to the, uh, directly to the, um, um, to the smart battery thingy, I forgot the name, right now. And uh, then put the captain tape on, over it and close everything up. So I think this is a pretty good way to um, keep the um, the circuit here that actually have the thermistor, um, the three wires with the thermistor, and then um, everything should actually work um, just uh, as as before with the after after doing the job.